guys right back welcome back to my channel talking to myself where i just discuss things that i usually have conversations in my head i just want to ex express with you guys see what you think like comment subscribe if you're new to the channel um tell me your thoughts on what i talk about i usually just talk about things i like or things i've seen or whatever you know if anything that you maybe want me i might want to touch on please don't hesitate to hit my line or all my social medias are in the description box below so Today, I just wanted to talk about the idea of being okay, being alone and being okay with yourself and just finding a way to be okay with the unperfect things that's going on around you, but also imperfect things that are about you while you're like possibly working on it. If not working on it, just being like, hey, this is what it is for me. I know about myself that the, you know, I'm working on the insecurities I have as far as just building confidence and being okay when things don't go the way I want it to go. You know, whether that be people that I want in my life or people that I wanted to, to go, this, the way the situation went differently or just opportunities that didn't go my way or maybe things in my past that didn't go my way that still lingers in my thoughts that I hate that it didn't go and I didn't go hard at the time and all those things and being okay with that just part of the journey, whatever, uh, the journey of my life or wherever that goes. So weird, it's a weird thing because I'd be thinking like, man, I wish I, you know, never uh, took any losses. You know what I'm saying? That's like the weird thing about my life. Like, man, I just wish that I got all these right because this person, that person look like they never experience the losses but you know you don't know those people personally you just see the the glamour and the like the best things of what it, their life looks like but for me i always feel like man i'm always like a step too slow or I'm not moving as fast as i should or just not making the right decisions on that time or not saying the right things or not being there or not going hard or you see everybody else doing their thing and you just thinking like man i just wish i was there you know and the more you do that you go down that rabbit hole the more you feel less and less good about yourself i find at least for me you know that rabbit hole that, that leads into anxiety and depression in my opinion you know humble opinion and it just feel like because you constantly constantly beating your yourself up about certain things you really can't control you know and taking those little i guess losses or shortcomings and just basing your life off of that and forgetting some of the things you have accomplished or not seeing where you went wrong at and being like okay well i gotta work on this you know i know i made a conscious decision last year like like around like september october time where i was like yo i gotta really get my confidence up you know i gotta really believe in myself more I gotta find a way to see myself in a better life and, and honestly I did it for like a week or two it takes time you know what I'm saying it's especially when you've been beating yourself up so long and nobody's really giving you like a, a pat on the back when you do things right or you know what I'm saying you just don't feel like you that you're a person of value you know I've been there I'm still I still have those lingering thoughts from time to time I can't lie to you that stuff sucks but if you ever have time and really sit back and really think about the things you have accomplished, you just as small as it could be, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what it could be, but as small as it is, and appreciate that and taking all the things that you haven't improved on, need to improve on and see what your losses is, it makes your life a lot easier in the sense of in the future when you're working on yourself and doing those things and realizing where you went wrong and correcting them, you take a lot of big a lot of big wins you don't lose as much, right? Because you took so many losses in the beginning, you realize, oh, this is how you need to move from, so I can be successful in that. That's my opinion. And it's like very like, duh. You know what I'm saying? Like, duh. Like, of course, yeah, yeah, you lose, figure out a way to win. But sometimes you just got to hear it over and over again. And sometimes, you know, you probably want to just sit and you pity a little bit, cry a little bit. Be sad for a while, you know. Nothing wrong with that. 
You know what I'm saying? Especially, everybody needs a good cry every once in a while. I get a good cry. Yes, I'm a man, but hey, once in a while you need to get a cry good. You know, a good cry, a good sad situation to be in. It's taking me a long time to like accept me for me. And I'm not fully there yet because I feel like I have a long way to go to really just be like, yo, this is me. Because I didn't beat myself up and been in my head so much about these things and how I look from the way I look to the way I talk to the way I carry myself to the way the things around me has happened to the people I have in my life to the people I want in my life to the people that's not in my life to what my career is to all this to that to what people are saying is cool why I don't have that why I need to be like this and all that things and you realize it's so much so much so much so so much to where it's like it almost look like you're getting beat down mentally all day and who wants to be feeling like that all day you know I just realized you got one life you might as well live with confidence you know you know might as well because like at the end of the day you want to live sad all the time you get to a certain age nobody's really checking on you like that you know nobody's really I mean, you have people that check it on you, but not to the point where you really need it, you know? And you gotta be your own biggest fan. You gotta be your hype man sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta look yourself in the mirror and be like, yo, I'm really that fucking dude. I'm really that woman. I'm really that person. I'm really that, I'm really like that. You know? It's corny, it's weird. Trust me, I had to do it, I tried it. Went to therapy, you know? Everybody say this generation is soft. I just think we're more aware. Things change. It is what it is. You know? I mean, what can you do? I like to think that we're doing the best we could. You know? I like to think I'm doing the best I could. I could do better, obviously. You know? Assume it's really imperfect, but strive for perfection and all that stuff. But don't try to kill yourself on the way you're trying to do it. Don't try to hurt yourself on the way you're trying to do it. Do the best you can. And believe that next time you do it, you're gonna do a little bit better because you see your maxed out potential at that time. Doesn't mean that, you know, I can't go past that, whatever that is, you know. I had a lot of setbacks last year. You know, the crazy thing about it though, I realized how hard I need to go next time and what I need to change for next time, you know. So this helps you and you relate to this video or have some comments. I want to just spread love in the comments, please. Be my guest. Leave a comment. Something cool. Something funny. You know, whatever. You know, this has been your host. You know, Nick. Talking to myself. I'll see you in the next one.